morning, ladies. So today I am not going to do a formal presentation on parenting and family. I'm just going to share an inspiring speech with you in hopes that you can also step into the unknown. <clears throat> so, are you willing to step into the unknown? Are you willing to take a step and not know how far your foot will go before it hits the surface? <laughs> how about doing something you've never tried before? Yes. How about walking away from a secure job so that you can live the dreams that you've always desired? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> Do you have a burning yes deep down in your soul, but you're terrified? Terrified of the uncertainty. How will I pay my bills? How will I take care of my family? Or how I will just get by? Yet you know, if you do not take the chance, you will live a life that is unfulfilled. In 2015, I embarked on a new journey into the unknown when I accepted a research fellowship to study parenting at a, southern university, at a university in southern Germany. I did not know the language, the culture, and I also was relocating with my de then eight-year-old son. I was excited, nervous, and a bit scared, and I also had naysayers who had good intentions say, why would you, as a black woman, relocate to a small town in a country known for Nazis? <laughs> I blocked out the naysayers because I was determined, determined to make a life for myself. Life in a small town in southern Germany is really hard. It was tough. I felt the isolation, the lack of support, and the most gut-wrenching part of it all was witnessing my then eight-year-old son experience racism from his peers. Here was a bubbly social butterfly. He became angry. He was hurt, he was sad all the time, he did not want to go to school, and I felt the deep guilt because my decision was causing him pain. I had to decide, do we stay in Germany or do we go back to Canada? I decided that yes, I would take another chance in Germany, but I, in order to do that, I would need to move to a more diverse city. So I decided to move to Berlin. In moving to Berlin, that was the best decision because emotionally, mentally, my son is now thriving. But in moving to Berlin, I also wanted to start my own business. I wanted to provide parent coaching and parenting classes, both in person and online, to families using the scientific knowledge I have. Again, here are the naysayers. You're on your path to doing habilitation, to become a professor. Why would you risk it all? Why would you give it up? But again, I felt unfulfilled because here I am publishing all these articles that all the parents in this room should have access to, and you don't have them unless you're part of the university community. So I wanted to bring my knowledge directly to parents. So when I started my business, yes, the naysayers were there, and they started to talk even more because guess what? I had no investors, I had no collateral, I had no capital, barely any savings, and I think in this day and age, most importantly, I had no network in Berlin. So I thought to be on the safe side, what I would do, I would continue with my research and teaching part full time and work on my business part time. I knew that deep down inside that was not the right thing for me to do, but I was scared. I was afraid to do the thing that I know I needed to do, to do. I was afraid to move out of my comfort zone. I was afraid because in doing that, I would have to face all my issues around safety and security. But one thing I'm learning is that when it's time for you to grow, if you refuse to grow, the universe will kick you in the butt for you to grow. So the early start, So in the beginning of my business, guess what happened? I lost my teaching contract, and every single research grant I applied for 
was rejected. First time in my life. I'm a nerd, I get my scholarships all the time. This was the first time everything that I was holding on to got pulled from under me. I stayed in bed for days, crying, wondering what's gonna happen to me. Will we now have to move again to Canada because I have no job here, no money, no income, anything like that. So I decided, well, now is the time to focus fully on my business, but the chatter in my mind, my mind was saying, go and get a job quickly. This unpredictable life is not for you. But my higher self was saying, stick with it. Be calm, relax. You have a good, you have a good idea. You have something that parents need. So I, after I came out of my rut, I created my parenting program. And I reached out to schools and family-related institutions. And I got rejection after rejection after rejection. I thought, oh my God, this is hard. So, but eventually one school reached out and said, hey, we would like you to come and do parenting classes. And slowly but surely parents started to reach out to me for private coaching. And guys, this was one month. All this shift happened just one month shy of all my savings being depleted. So talk about walking in faith. I, my job is, my, my, my business is growing, but the most important part of it all is that I see the parents I work with, their parenting skills, the confidence that they have have increased significantly, the relationship that they have with their children, the relationship that they have with their, even their partners have increased, have improved. So if I was not willing to step into the unknown, I would not have been able to witness that kind of transformation. There are people out there who are struggling, who are experiencing challenges, and they're waiting for your skills, your talents, your abilities, but you must be willing to step into the unknown. You must be willing to risk it all, or you can continue to live a life of comfort even though part of you feel unfulfilled. So in closing, I just want all of us to close our eyes for a few seconds. And I want you to visualize what your life will look like at age 75. <laughs> Who are the people in your life? What are you doing? Have you touched the lives of the people who are yearning for your services and your guidance? Now, if what you're doing in present day is not taking you towards that goal, I encourage you to step into the unknown and go for it. If you want that life at 75, you must be willing to become someone you've never seen before. You must be willing to jump off that mountain of certainty and not know how or where you will land. You must be willing to sacrifice it all you must be willing to go through those unpredictable growth period. From my experience, I can tell you, it's terrifying, your heart will skip a beat many times, you will question your sanity, you will even question your abilities, but I can rest assured and say to you that it is, will be one of the best decisions you've ever made. I took the step into the unknown, and through that, my life has not only transformed, but the, the lives of all the parents have, that have interacted with me have also transformed. There are people waiting out there for your skills, your abilities to touch them so they can also be transformed. So don't play it safe. Don't be nervous. Don't pull away to, to give in to the naysayers. Today, I encourage you to take that bold step into the unknown. Thank <laughs> you.